Good morning. Hope you are all doing well on this Thursday morning, April the 8th, I believe. Yes, so that's good. Um, just so glad you're here with us this morning. I just wanted to share a quick thought with you um, as we start our day. You know, when my daughters were little, they played sports. And, well, one of them did. Um, when she was little, she was about four, and she played soccer. And when she got out for her first game, she starts running down the field, and I'm yelling and screaming, and I realized about halfway through that I was that mom that was yelling at my four-year-old to play soccer, encouraging her. I wasn't yelling mean things but I was encouraging her as she ran down that field. And now she swims. And I have a really hard time sitting in the stands at a swim meet because I want to yell and scream and encourage her to go and to, to swim harder, uh, knowing that she's in the pool under the water and I'm way up above her and she can't hear me. My other daughter plays soccer. And so when she's running down the field, I'm yelling and screaming and encouraging her. And um, I've asked them both, can you hear me? And my daughter who's a swimmer says, no, mom, I can't hear you. I'm in the pool. My other one, daughter, my other daughter who plays soccer says, yes, mom, I can hear you. Um, so I'm not sure they love my yelling and encouragement, but I'm, but I can't help it. I am that mom. You know, in um, Hebrews 12, 2, it says, for we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses. Let us throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that so easily entangles us. And let us run with perseverance the race set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, for who the joy was set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. You know, can't you just see that great cloud of witnesses um, surrounding us on the sidelines and yelling for us to finish? You go, you got this, you can do this, finish hard, finish strong, um, stay the course. You know, in... Um, and the other thing is, here's the other thing that I wanted to share, is uh, from Romans 8, 34, and it says, Jesus is praying for you. Christ Jesus, who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Can you imagine? He's praying for us. He's interceding for us. It doesn't really get any better than that. You know, I learned some things about um, foot racing, and I done it once or twice, but I am definitely not a runner. But, you know, when you are finishing the, uh, when you're finishing a race, you're going through the finish line. By the time you get there, depending on the size of the race, by the time you get there, you're worn out, you're tired, um, you're uh, really ready to just be done. But that's when your friends, your family, the fans, they're all surrounding that finish line and they're yelling, you go, you've got this, finish, and it makes you run harder and faster and finish the race. You know, that's the power of words. Uh, we have so many people surrounding us, encouraging us, um, and we can be that to other people. We can be those people that are encouraging people to finish strong, finish the course, stay the race, um, finish hard, um, just by doing that and being uh, somebody that uses our words to do that. So just a really quick, simple thought this morning that I wanted to share with you. Um, so I'm just going to encourage you today to have a great day, finish the race, finish strong today, um, and have a great weekend. And hopefully we will see you on Sunday, either in person or online. So I'm going to pray for us. Father God, thank you so much for this day. Um, thank you that uh, you hear our uh, prayers that you are surrounding us, you are encouraging us, um, that we can feel your love around us at all times. Father, we just give you this day and ask that all that we do and say will be to your glory. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. All right. Have a great day.